Thomas. And the Howland Beckwell is, if you take this intersection that way, the Howland Beckwell is about 4,000 feet from us. And there's a new one going in over there. And there's a new one going up here. There's, there's they just crashed closer. Why would they change the water? It was erupting. The DEP, the DEP told us when they came out that what they thought was going on was there was a methane bubble forming underneath the water. And then our well is 158 feet deep, so it was forming down deep enough where the water would keep pressure on it until we would turn it on in the house. And then once you started running the water, it would relieve enough pressure off it to allow the gas bubble to work its way up and force the water out of our well. Um, that, that's what we were told initially. Um, the gas company seems to have another theory. They think that our well is broken and that it's just doing this on its own. Our well was drilled and put in, I believe, in 2008 or 2009. 2009. So, so it's brand new. So it's brand it's new. new. Yeah, it's new. And so the DEP, when they did their second round of testing, they come out frequently and test the gas coming out of our well. And before it was vented, the Friday before the gas company came out and vented it, the tests were showing 82% methane coming out of the, the well. So that, that's free gas. That's not like what's in the water mm -hmm. when they test the water. But it was 82% coming out in the free gas coming out of our wellhead. So they asked for the gas company to come and vent it and give us a water bubble. Um, so you were making it in the We were up until this is town water now. They've got a, a great big cattle tank, you know, the plastic cattle tanks that they use for farmers um, inside there. And there's a jet pump that they put on it. They disconnected our well, so we no Who longer use our that? well. I'm sorry? Who paid for that? The gas company. And do you pay the gas company for the delivery? Nope, they, they are required to deliver it until the investigation's over, I believe. I had good water before they drilled. I'm not certain that was paid for. What, what did he say? He I said our water, water was good before. before. Now I can't yeah. use it. We, can, yeah. Uh, what about the crops? Well, the yeah, who's along to you? The, the corn crops field going back there. Oh, no, yeah. that's the Depews that have the well up here. They they lease this field and grow the well. I don't know. We know that there's bubbles coming up in the creek now. They were swimming all down there where last year you would see up to 50 people come at a time. There's a rope swing and it's, it's above your head. It's a nice swimming. Have you had any incidents of when you turned on your faucet that we, like we've seen in Gasland where it lights up? Well, they told us when they did the air quality test, they told us not to have any flames near our water. We didn't try lighting it because we thought it was very dangerous. Uh, we couldn't use our kitchen stove because it was too close to the faucet. They it was told a gas us, stove? A gas stove. They told us don't use that. This was from Resource Environmental, the guy that did the air quality testing. Um, he told us not to... If when we take showers in the bathroom, we had to leave the door open, the window open, and the fan going so that it would even in winter. Yeah, it was in winter. It was the end of December, first of January. I assume you have some sort of insurance on your house. Yes. How does this happening? How does it affect your insurance? Your well, we are buying the house on a land contract, and the methane situation happened prior to us having to switch the insurance into our name. And we only found one insurance company that would insure us. We went to two different brokers. I called a, an insurance company where I clean. They all said no because of the methane. We only found one insurance company that would insure us. What prompted you to get tested? The toilet water turned a dark gray. When I flushed the toilet, all of a sudden it was coming out dark gray. <laughs> We don't know, it's not our corn. I don't know. Oh, I know There's the creek has bubbles, that's all. What kind of government agencies have come to verify what's going on with your home and your water supply? The DEP has been here. Uh, the EPA has not been here. 
Is there a reason why the EPA has not been here? They told us that as long as the DEP is investigating, they aren't going to interfere. If the DEP isn't doing their job, then the EPA will come in and do take How over. does this financially affect you and your family? Well, we have to buy bottled water now. Um, before we got the water buffalo, we had to, to transport water. We would He would go up to his mom's and fill jugs so that we could, because we wouldn't um, bathe the grandchildren in it, so we bought these water camp showers that are like a five gallon bladder that you fill. So we would have to haul water for that. So the gas companies take no responsibility to what has happened to your water supply. And, th and therefore, you are not compensated during this period of investigation for supplying water, for having clean water, for the water that you use in cooking and with your kids. Yeah, they, they supply this. But do but you they use don't that? Supply, well, we use it for showering and stuff. It's town water from Montrose, so okay. it's chlorinated water. Um, but it's chlorinated water. It's chlorinated and it's in a water buffalo that's not suited for human consumption. Okay. So we can't use it for to consume anything like okay. to cook. Or and they made no effort to supply you drinking water, just this, just this. Yeah. chlorined, non-human consumption water. Right. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. So what's you your name? Tammy Manning. M-A-N-N-I-N-G? T-A-M-M-Y? How long have you lived here? We lived. Here, we moved in in November of 2010, and, and it was our water was affected in December of 2011. And do you live here with children, family? Mm -hmm. Yep. My my two daughters at the time were living with us, and three grandchildren. And my husband and myself. And have like you, your the children, your husband, have you noticed any side effects? My my oldest granddaughter, um, prior to getting this, she was getting up in the morning. Her what was happening? I'm getting ahead of myself. What was happening was, in order for the well to not erupt, we would have to leave the water running all the time. So we would leave it running 24 hours a day so that it would keep the pressure off that bubble so that it wouldn't erupt. Because once it erupted, the water was this color, you couldn't use it for anything. Dishes, laundry, nothing, you couldn't use it. So we would leave the water running in the kitchen faucet. Well, my granddaughter's bedroom is right above the kitchen. And so for from December and January, February, right up until we got the water buffalo, two, three days a week in the morning she would wake up and vomit. Oh. Who is your congressman in this area? Uh, Tom Marino, Gene Young. Tom Marino is the co uh, United States congressman in here? Uh, I, 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 you don't know your congressperson? I've, I've spoken to so many people. There's Tom Marino and there's Virginia, and then Sandra Major is our elected uh, representative, no, no, state no. of it's, it's representative. Right but now. the important question is, the, the important question is, has the, the, has excuse me the politicians that you just mentioned have any of them done anything to intervene in your situation? I've contacted them. Um, Sandra Majors, when she found out that we were speaking with the. Um, with the anti-frack people? Yeah, with the activists in the area. She she said, well, okay, and that was it. She had asked us at one point if we had refused the water buffalo because our attorney and um, the gas company's attorney had a misunderstanding and we didn't receive water for like five days because he had told them to keep the hands off the well when they wanted to disassemble it and pull our water pump out and everything. And, uh, what is your last name again? I missed it. Manning, M A N N I N G. So, are you still unable to cook? Oh, we can cook now. We, yeah, we don't have methane in the water bottle. You can cook in your kitchen. Okay. So, if they shut off the water in the kitchen, is that they shut off our well completely. Okay. They disconnected our well okay. so that we have no, so you have no access to your well. Did they pay you for did, did they compensate you for that? For, for taking possession of your well because that in fact is what they've done? No, we received no compensation from the gas companies other than the water bubble. So that's not great for the waste. I know. I know.
Chicken? No, we, we probably could never make those. I do appreciate you guys because New York State landowners are now deciding themselves. Oh, I know. I have a lot of New York stuff on here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't grow, you didn't grow anything. Did you grow anything? Oh, I have a garden. I have a garden. We have chickens. Chickens. I saw your chickens. So what you use the buffalo? We use the water buffalo. Yeah. What about that corn? Like, That's the fuse. I don't. Oh. I don't know. That's how, how do you? How do you? I mean, what, what, what's the interaction with your neighbors who, you know, might Support. not appreciate what you're doing? How, yeah, how do you get along with them, or they? Everybody has their own opinions. But we I have mean, several that have water buffaloes. They aren't talking. They can't you talk. You kind of agree to disagree, or is yeah, there more nastiness? Yeah. There's than that? some nastiness. I, I mean, I'm asking because we're, we're beginning this process. I'm from a rural place in, in New York where our town just passed a resolution inviting the industry in. Yeah. And what I've seen is that it's neighbor against neighbor. I mean, it's really nasty stuff. Yeah, it, 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 yeah. I mean, because we have you know, a neighbor up the road. Um, town of Delaware. And her and some other people have started this Franklin Citizens for Truth group. And they had a private meeting at a church and invited everybody that has good water. They weren't invited, we weren't invited, the people up the road with the buffalo weren't invited. This guy was invited because he's got decent water. But his well is shallow. If you have a shallow well, then it doesn't affect you as early as it affects the deeper ones. And if you have a spring, you're even more blessed because mm -hmm. those, you know, it takes could a while you, for that. Could you build a shallow well and the, as a way of going around the problem of the deep well? We have a shallow well. That, we, we that's why they dug the deep well, because we're in a flood zone. Right. Okay. So the shallow well had gotten contaminated with flooding. Mm -hmm. was, okay. yeah. I think somebody's septic or something. So, yeah. I mean, and as close to the road as it is, you're going to get all kinds of nasty stuff in that water. So. Do you think money is the real culprit here? Mm -hmm. yeah, people's greed. Yeah. It's all the way up until the way through. You're talking about neighbors, like in users. I don't speak to some of my neighbors down in my apartment building in, in New York because we're converting our boiler to natural gas. We, my wife and I, said this is going to raise the market for a demand for fracking New York State. And my wife was shouted down because they can save two dollars a gallon on today. their gas. Today, today, exactly. Yeah, and, that's and they what, could and put biodiesel in that. This is the upper, you know, the liberal Upper East Side, and they're like, you know, you know, former hippies with a, you know, gray, you know, ponytail and sandals, and they were like, a dollar a gallon, let's do it. And you just realize that, as somebody said, when it's money on all these levels. People will do the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when when the gas company contributes to both the Republican and the Democratic campaigns, right. who's gonna work for you? And our the local people. gas company Nobody. is telling like the co-op boards, oh, and you'll be able to check off a box mm -hmm. saying your gas will come from non-fracked sources, yeah. uh, yeah, sure. you know, which is impossible yeah, yeah. because it's. Well, I wanted to ask you a question, you and your husband, about how you day to day keep hope on your side, given the neighbors, given the power of the money in a depressed economy, you know, I just wonder where do you get the inner strength to, to meet with us and talk to us and tell us that you have a garden? Our hearts, we just don't think that this is right. We're not looking in our lawsuit for any big money amounts. We want them to be forced to fix the problem. And we want to draw attention to the problem so that other people wake up and see that there's a problem. Because what happens here is they'll, they'll say to the next town that they go to out of Franklin Township, they'll come and say, well, you know, their well was broken and you know there's no contamination we've done our tests and we've we've concluded everything and the DEP is still investigating and that's not how the DEP is is talking to us so why do you think you have the right to go to the next town and lie about my well and lie about what's going on here so that you can lock all of the, these people into the 
the um, leases and everything. And then, is there we, is I, I have another question. Uh, I live in New York City. Mm -hmm. They're just beginning to put a pipeline in that that will the gas will and radon will come through in, in, in Greenwich Village. And one of the things that most makes people think about it is the blast zone because so the gas companies have a terrible record with the safety of the pipelines. Is there any consciousness in this community that not only about the bad water and the decontaminated land, but the possibility of an explosion? Oh yeah, we've had explosions. The, we had a compressor station in Spring, Springville explode. There was an explosion at Windsor at a compressor station from lightning. They were releasing gas and lightning struck and boom, there was a big mushroom cloud. I, there's all kinds of problems. And that, doesn't, and that doesn't phase people's belief that this is okay? I think people have these money blinds on and they don't see if, if you're pro-gas You've got these these dollar bills stuck to your sunglasses. You can't see anything beyond that. That's just, you know, you've got a handful of people that see the problems, and you got other people that only see the money, and that's what the problem is. Where did you live before you moved into this house? Halstead, Pennsylvania. Okay. And, and your husband's mom lives in New York? Yeah. yeah, in New York. So you've been out in this kind of, of land. You're not from the city. This is how you and your husband and, and your kids are growing up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What a future, huh? Yeah, I know. We moved to the country. I mean, we were in town in Halstead, and we had this little tiny yard about this big, and our daughter and our grandchildren and everybody was here, so we thought, well, this house came up. We were renting a house in Halstead. Um, our landlords were foreclosed on, so their house and our house were on the same property. We were served that we had to find another place to live. And when we started looking for rental properties, everything had gone up because of the gas industry. So what how we does were that? Paying, could you just for a moment explain how everything went up? Because the, the rental prices. It went. We were paying like five hundred, six hundred dollars a month in the, the previous places that we had rented. And, oh, she's gonna get yelled at. Scott doesn't want people over there. I don't know why she's. Oh, she's trying oh, to get Oh, she's getting a picture huh? of us. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, because that guy's a little bit crazy. Um, You're talking about how the gas economy impacted on the rental market. Yeah, yeah. Because we were paying, like I said, five. Six hundred dollars a month in the places that we had lived up until then, and the, and when we started looking for houses to rent, nine hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, fourteen hundred dollars. Is that because of royalties? Because there's so many people in the area that looking for places to live, and the gas company will pay it. So. What do you mean the gas company will pay it? That they're paying their workers enough, I guess, or they're paying their their rent. So this is, you're talking about how the workers and the economy is affected by the by the gas company moving in has forced all the regular people who live here to have a, a tighter budget, so to speak. Yeah, but see, we didn't work for the gas company, so our our checks were still the same, and we're looking at twice as much for rent. So, I mean, that's. This this came up and we said, oh well, we may as well just buy a house if. I can see why you picked it because it's absolutely lovely. Everybody's